Hello family, how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. But the end of last week and this week was totally unacceptable and heartbreaking to see. How the hen and her goons treated the residents of Dothan and the visitors who came to pay respect to the Dothan city residents. Okay, now let's let's uh get right into this family because it was unbelievable. The disrespect that we saw last week and this week coming from the hen and her goons. Unbelievable, disrespectful, heartbreaking, and hurtful to see. And she left a lot of citizens outside doing that meeting this Monday this past Monday, left a lot of those residents outside in 20 degree weather. Wow, you can't make this up, family. You can't. You can't make this up. So get y'all coffee, get y'all tea, get your water, get your snacks, and don't forget to raise the garage doors because we're going to need all y'all garage doors open today because I'm riding some bumpers about the citizens and the trustees and the visitors who was in Dothan. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. So get all your stuff ready. Open up extra garage doors. Please, please get your snacks, get your handkerchiefs, get your tissue, get all that because we riding a lot of bumpers today. Yes, we are. Shout out to the moderators. Shout out to the subscribers. Shout out to the replay gang. Shout out to all the viewers, the people in the chat. Love y'all, love y'all. People that be in the comment section, thank you. Thank you to everyone who donate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your donations, your comments, your support, and everything is greatly appreciated. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead on. And uh, y'all already know what we got to do so we can ride these bumpers. Mm-hmm. Yes. Video, under fair use, copyright disclaimer, under section 107 of Copyright Acts in 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research fair use is a use permitted copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit educational and personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Yes, fair use. All rights and credit goes directly to its rightful owner. This video is purely for fair use, opinion, and entertainment. Enjoy. Yes, enjoy. Wow. Enjoy. Uh, they did have the meeting family and they turned out everybody turned out it was so awesome family it was i got to give hands hold on family i gotta give a shout out and hands to everybody who was there they turned out they showed up and showed out awesome awesome they all came together it was some visitors out there that came from different places like Texas and things like that. Shout out to everyone for sticking together, coming together, uh, to making sure that uh, no more violating civil rights. Uh-uh. No more violating the citizens. Uh-uh. No more bullying the citizens. Uh-uh. No more treating them like they less than. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Tiffany. No, uh-uh, hen. This mud waddling hen is so disrespectful. Yes, she is. Now, they did have that meeting. They came out. They showed out uh, Monday, April the 1st. Um, the hen 
was supposed to produce receipts and answer some questions about that alleged or word situation that happened down there in Vegas where they went and took a lavish trip spending all the taxpayers' money and all that. Yeah, mm-hmm. But Tiffany thought she was slick, family. She put about 40 chairs in there, her and the little goons. They put about 40 chairs in there so that only 40 people can attend that meeting, only 40 citizens. So now, that leaves a lot of people outside, in the rain, in the cold, and it was about 20 degree weather out there, and they said it's a little rain mixed with sleet, a little bit of that. So you had people out there left outside. Because Tiffany really didn't want to be bothered with the citizens. So her and her little lapdog Lacey put out about 40 chairs. Come on. Now, you know you got more than 40 residents in Dothan. Really? This what we doing? Really? Because she didn't want to answer no questions. And then Lacey, uh, word on the curve, he going to say, oh, well. We was having threats. Don't you even try hollering threats. Much as y'all unthreatened that city. Much as y'all unthreatened the residents in there. Much as y'all done bullied the residents around there. Now you want to start hollering about threats. Now we not buying it. We not buying it. No, we are not. Y'all the ones that's the bully. That's who the bullies are. But now they want to flip the script and say that. Other people was bullying. Show us some proof. Show us some proof because they lie like a rug all the time. All the time. That wasn't nothing but an excuse. They planned that excuse. That's why they put out 40 chairs. Anybody in their right mind know it's more than 40 residents in Dothan. We just said the other day, it's 20,000 people there. Or more. And you want to put out 40 chairs? There go that bullying. Yeah. Yeah, they knew what they was doing. They knew they they knew exactly what they was doing. They left everybody out there. And family, please understand. It wasn't just um black people out there. It was all, all race of people standing together. Wanting to make a difference. Wanting to make a change. Wanting this mud walling hen to resign. Because she sure wasn't going to produce no receipts. Mm -mm. They had this plan. Yeah. Left them people out there in that cold like that. I wasn't digging that at all. Ride them bumpers for real today. But anyway, family. They did have a meeting, and then when they opened up the doors, they were letting six or seven at a time in. And I got to give a shout out to the crowd as well, because they was let, letting the elders go in first, you know, and they stay out in the cold instead of letting some of the elders uh, be out in the cold. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, they was letting like six or seven in at a time. Then they started like an hour or something late trying to stall out the crowd, trying to stall them out. That's that goon bullying. They thought they were slick. They thought that the people couldn't see through that. And yes, we was on it. Not only the people who was on the ground there, but you had a lot of YouTubers that was tuning in you had a lot of the world that was tuning in on the internet. We were also tuned in to, you know, different channels that we can get. And it looks like they was messing with the reception, with the internet reception around there. Uh-huh. Think we didn't see that either. It looked like, I was like, why is everybody who is on the ground, their internet is kind of going out at the same exact time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They need to pay attention for that next meeting they have. Yeah. Because somebody thought they were slick by doing that as well. Mm-hmm. But they had that little meeting. And it was a lot of people talking up. 
it was a lot of females, ladies that was telling their stories, wanting the hen to resign, wanting uh, that other trustee that seems to be missing here that has the accusations of the R word down there in Vegas. Ain't nobody seen him yet. Mm -mm. You know, he hired not. So they had the little quick meeting. But the thing is, the trustees seen that it was a lot of people left outside. And it wasn't right because they was entitled to be able to go into that meeting. It's a community meeting. But Tiffany and them already had their plan together where they wasn't going to even let but 40 people in. And some of them was the media. Wow. You talking about violating civil rights and the law. You know? And I have to give them a hand that a lot of the citizens, the women that did get to talk, they said what they had to say. They wanted Tiffany up out of there. They wanted her little goons up out of there. All of that. Mm-hmm. And then you had a lady that come up and she talked about her daughter, Alexis Wilson, which we're going to check that story out too as well and get more deep into her story. But she's 19 years old and her mother was there talking about how uh, her daughter was deleted by, you know, the hen's goons over there. Then you had another lady that was talking about how her husband was deleted at a store just going to get something to eat. But Tiffany and them didn't want to hear all that. Mm -mm. See, they didn't want to hear nothing about her. That she doing wrong and trifling. So every time you turn around, her lapdog Lacey, the chief of police, was saying, you know, if y'all keep clapping or y'all say anything, we're going to end the meeting. We're going to end the meeting. Y'all clap, we're going to end the meeting. They was trying to do everything to end the meeting anyway. Because they was nervous and shaking in their boots. Mm-hmm. But I do have to say that it was about three or four eggplants there that was speaking up for Tiffany. Oh, she's uh she's nice. And one lady got up there talking just like the lady on Friday. Uh y'all remember um uh Damon, Damon mama when she said she knocked on Ice Cube and um, uh, Epps' door and was saying, hey, Mike Epps' door saying, if y'all don't pay me my rent, y'all going to have to kick in or I'm going to get Damon. I'm going to get Damon and he just got out. If y'all don't pay me my rent, y'all better kick in. Well, it was a lady up there like that, family. Talk just like that. Look just like that lady. I ain't even finna put her on the screen because I ain't finna give her no shine at all. But she was another eggplant that Tiffany had to pay something. Because ain't no way that lady was talking like that without getting a little kickback. Mm -hmm. It was about three of them. There was a guy there that was an eggplant. And then it was that lady there kicking in. Y'all gonna have to kick in that day. If you don't give me my rent money, I'm telling Damien. That's exactly how she sound and look, family. Yes, she did. Look like Damien, mama, on Friday. Yeah, but anyway, one of the trustees named Jason, I forget his last name or whatever, but he suggested that they reschedule this meeting because it wasn't enough seats for the citizens that were stuck outside and those citizens had a right to be at that meeting. Okay? And Tiffany gonna holler, we ain't, uh-uh, we ain't, uh, rescheduling nothing. We here, so we gonna go head on and go with it. We all here now. Yes, we all here. You don't tell nobody that they can't. You violated the law anyway. You supposed to have more than 40 seats out there or in that little small, tight-ass little place y'all had it at. You know better than to have it there anyway because everybody was informed that this was going to be a pretty good little crowd that the residents 
all was coming together and wanted to stand together and talk about your trifling mud while in here and sell. Mm-hmm. But you decided you going to make it the way you want to make it. You want to control the whole narrative. But Jason, he suggested that. And so the clerk started calling out the names and everything, you know. But let me let y'all hear how uh, the crowd was. Because the crowd was not letting up, family. No, no, no. They were standing out there, but they wanted to get in. They had a right to get in. Tiffany and Lacey and the rest of the goons blocked them people from attending their own city meeting. How trifling. Check this out, family. This is them. See, Tiffany wasn't expecting that. She wasn't expecting that. See, Tiffany, this is 2024. You trying to operate Dothan like Bumpy Johnson and Nino Brown. And it ain't working, sister. It ain't working. And we got Dothans back as well. And, you know, I have to give a shout out, special thanks again to some of the YouTubers that was had their lives going and things like that, you know, keeping up. And then the people who was on the ground was letting everybody know what was going on because we was really concerned and we wanted to know because we have their back as well. But you see, they were saying, if they don't let us in, shut it down because... It is a community meeting. It's not a Tiffany and her goons meeting that rules the world. No. Listen. Okay. So y'all yeah, see how it was. It was a good crowd. And shout out to the residents of Dothan, to the visitors who came in to support the residents of Dothan, and all that. Yes. And the world was watching as well. Mm -hmm. See, Tiffany Yallen bullied those people long enough. And you really do need to step down. But of course, you're not going to do that because, you know, your narcissism is just through the roof. So that won't happen. So they are doing it the legal way to get you up out their seat. Uh-huh. So, you and your goons. So, Jason, as y'all hear the people saying they want to get in, if they can't get in, shut the meeting down. And that's exactly what one of the trustees, Jason, suggested. And he suggested that they reschedule it for April the 8th, next Monday, and have a bigger venue so the people can get in, more people can get in. Tiffany didn't want to do it like that, but they still voted to end the meeting and wait until April the 8th and they do it the right way with enough seats without people planting 40 seats down. Mm -hmm. And so when the clerk called, said, hey, uh, she did roll call to see who all was going to say, I vote to reschedule the meeting. So when the clerk started calling names, Tiffany going to tell the clerk lady, you out of order. 
You out of order. You can't be doing that. First of all, you old mud waddling hen. She ain't out of order. You out of order for putting 40 seats down there. You knew better. You out of order, old backyard barbie. You out of order. You out of order for those receipts you hide. Yeah, let's talk about being out of order. You want to talk about being out of order? That's being out of order. You out of order for those receipts that you hiding and holding and don't want the trustees and the residents to see. You out of order. Mm-hmm. You also out of order for what allegedly happened down there in Vegas. Uh-huh. You out of order. You out of order for spending the taxpayers' dollars for lavish trips. You out of order. You want to know what else? You out of order? Why are you telling that clerk she out of order? No. You out of order. You out of order for putting that baby out of that Easter event you had. Oh, I'm getting on that. I'm finna ride her bumper family. You out of order. And you out of order for uh acting like you need no brown up in a trustee meeting coming in there talking about don't nobody know nothing with Rihanna playing in the background. Bees better have my money. Where was all that energy at at that meeting last that the other day? Huh? Where was all that at? You out of order for dressing up like Nino Brown. You out of order for having that village hall locked on them citizens. Whoa, we going to talk about that too, family. You out of order, Tiffany, for buying that $150,000 ragged ass Tahoe. You out of order. And you out of order for spending all the taxpayers' dollars on them tangled up ass wigs. You out of order. That's who out of order. Tell that clerk she out of order. No, you out of order. I can't stand a backyard Barbie. Wallin' in mud. Talking about that clerk out of order. Anyway, family. Then, old Lacey, you think that cafe didn't catch this what you did. I haven't really heard many people say anything about this right here. I heard them point out a lot of things, but this one right here really caught my eye. It really caught my eye, family. Let me let me tell y'all this. Lacey wouldn't let the trustee officials, he would not let the trustees go out the back like the rest of the city officials. He made them go out front with the crowd. But see, let me tell you what Lacey thought. See, the crowd was loud. I just heard y'all. I mean, I just let y'all hear that. The crowd was loud. It was Lacey and the hen who was kind of nervous about the crowd because the crowd was speaking truth. Okay? So, he was going to make the trustees go out the front door. He did make the trustees go out the front door. He thought he was putting the trustees in harm's way. But really, they he, he wasn't putting them in no harm's way because the people was there for the trustee and for the cities. They was there for those trustees and their city. But he thought he was putting them in harm's way by letting them go out there with that crowd. But it wasn't an outrage crowd. They was very respectable. I mean, they chanted like they were supposed to do because they was locked out of a public meeting. But they wasn't a threat at all. But see, Lacey wanted, he felt like since the trustees voted to reschedule this meeting, he was going to punish them by sending them out the front door with the crowd. And he thought he was putting them in harm's way. So if the crowd had did anything to the trustees, he was him and his goons was going to let it happen. See, I see straight through a lot of stuff, Lacey. And I got something to say about Lacey, too, because he had on some tight-ass chick's jeans. I was trying to figure out, is he a police officer or a Chippendale? I'm going to get on that, too. At that Easter event with them tight-ass chicks on. I said, is those 
Wait a minute, is he a police officer or a Chippendale? But anyway, family, let me get back on this. He thought he was putting the trustees in harm's way. Now, let me show y'all what I was talking about here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Y'all get the garage doors open because, boy, I'm riding some bumpers today. Check this out, family. Okay? Now, I don't have no sound to it. I just want y'all to check out how old Lacey did this. Now, this is the trustee Jason I was talking about who's walking out. He is the one that decided, let's reschedule this till we can get a bigger venue. That's Lacey right here, family. This is him right here. And I want to talk about that because you see how big he is right here. I, I got something to say about that in a minute. But check it out. Everybody's walking out, right? Now, check out how the trustee's getting ready to come to go out the back with the rest of the official. Look, Lacey said, no, y'all go out the front. Check it out. Check it out. See, this is what they dealing with. You cannot do city officials. They still are city officials. If y'all go out the back door, hold on. That's Jason right there who suggested that this meeting here be rescheduled to April 8th. So when they all walks out, they did go back there and talk to the media a little bit. When they got through talking to the media, they was going to go out the back like city officials do. But Lacey here told them they ain't allowed to use the same exit that they use. He told them trustees that they are not allowed to go out the back door like city officials always do. I caught it. And I wasn't too much liking it. Unbelievable. Heartbreaking and disrespectful. Pitiful. Check it out, family. Check out this goon. Who did that to city officials. Because they ain't playing the corrupt game. Here they come. See they walking out. Now watch how they talk to the media for a few seconds. Here they come. They coming to go out the same door. That everybody else city officials do. Look he said no go. Go out the front door with your folks. Go out the front. Now, now you see how they cutting up. Now city officials are like. Are you serious? And you see this lady here. She's saying, oh, you wrong for that. So they turns around and they go out the front door. And when they went out the front door, family, the people out there who was left out there embraced them and hugged them, gave them a big hug. And I'm glad they did that because even the people outside did not see what Lacey had just did to them. He considered them just regular citizens now because they ain't playing the corrupt rules that him and the hen play. So if y'all don't want to fall in line with me and the hen, go out the front door with your folks who out there begging to come in in the 20 degree weather. How disrespectful. How disrespectful. Check it out again, family. This is when they called off the meeting. Watch how he turned them around. If I didn't, my heart hurt it for the trustees. Because they only trying to do what's right. But that's how they get treated when you do right. And that's how they treat their residents. Check it out, family. How he stands up and says, oh, no, y'all ain't going out the back door with the rest of the city officials. Go out there with them folks. Unbelievable. Look at that. He's stopping them. Low down. Low down. Low down. I couldn't believe it, family. I couldn't believe it. So basically, you're telling them that they less than. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, I get back on uh, Lacey in a minute. Uh... Yeah. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. So this was um this was when the trustees was sitting down there and Mr. Jason there was trying to tell them, you know, why don't we just uh reschedule this, you know, um and you'll see that they're still sitting down there. And then as you will see, they leave. It's empty. They leave. And then I just showed y'all a video of how they was treated when they left. Okay. And all of these city officials, that's Tiffany right there. All of these people here were able to go out the back door just the way they came in. But the trustees came in that way. But they were denied that way out. Because they didn't play corrupt ball. Wow. 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 And that was the people, when the trustees left, the people left too, right behind them, okay? And they was talking to the media and things like that, uh, but unbelievable. And then I wanted to talk about that, but I'll talk about that in another one. But as you will see, family, this is when the hen called everybody snitches because her little uh, YouTube thing was pulled down. Or she pulled it down or whatever. She told me, y'all snitched on me, but y'all could see my podcast on Spotify. And this is the video that she was talking about. And she was trying to show all those papers there that uh, she has receipts. So she lifting them all up, talking about, I got all the receipts right here. I got all the receipts right there. I believe... I really don't think those are receipts. Prove it to me. Prove it to us. Show the trustees. Show and I, and they better not be dated for a couple of months ago. They better not be dated for last week. Uh uh. No 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 receipt. We want receipts from when you was doing all these lavish trips. If you took them lavish trips in two thousand and twenty two. We need to see the receipts say 2022. Don't come bringing us no receipts that say 2024. I uh -uh, see you think you slick, Tiffany. Because when I looked at the stat, all the papers was too crisp. Them was freshly print out papers. Yes, they was. Yeah, they was too crisp. They was too flat. They was too, they was too, too neat. I print out papers every day. We got a business, too. Don't try to play me. And I know how papers look that's been in the file for a minute. A lot of people do. Them are freshly printed papers. That's sure what it's given. Mm -hmm. You ain't slick, girl. But let me let y'all hear her call us snitches during this time right here. We don't care what you think about us, okay? The point is... You shouldn't have did that podcast calling out Mr. Larry and Dr. Scott because you was doing an undercover goon call and we saw straight through it. You can't do that as a mayor. No, you can't. So we don't care what you say about us. Mm -hmm. Listen. So, you guys doing a lot of snitching. Yeah. And I went and got my site shut down. My Tiffany on the Move podcast. Tiffany Henry on the Move podcast. Well. Yeah, I heard her. She said we got her thing shut down. God, don't nobody care nothing about your thing being shut down. No, we don't. We don't. We already told you don't come over here bullying people. You thought we were playing with you? Don't be coming over here bullying people. See, you tried to bully me. You tried to bully Cafe. That show didn't work. It backfired. Yes, it did. And it looked like what you tried to do last, uh, last what was it, the Monday, well, a a April the 1st when you did that, at the meeting, putting out them 40 chairs. You thought you were being smart then, and it backfired on you. See there? See there? See there? Listen now to call us snitches. So, you guys doing a lot of snitching. What mayor say that anyway? Shut down my Tiffany on the move podcast. 
Tiffany Henry on the Move podcast. See, it got shut down. Well, we really don't care. We really, really don't care. We really don't. We really don't. You know, we really don't. We don't have room for backyard Barbies anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you'll be all right. You know, because you was up there bullying and trying to do a goon call. We know what bullying and goon call is, and we weren't going to let you do it to the residents. No, we wasn't. We was not going to let you start using that podcast to try to grab people and put them on your podcast that has talked to the news or the FBI. That is dangerous. You was trying to do an undercover goon call, and we caught it. Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. YouTube don't like bullies. I guess you found that out, huh? Anyway, family, she gonna show us these old stack of papers that look like they freshly print out. They are so neat and crisp. Those do not look like papers that's been in the file for about two years or a year or so. They look like they was freshly printed out. Mm-hmm. So why are they looking freshly printed out? That's what we want to know. Why are they looking freshly printed out? Uh -huh. We just ask. Yeah. And then these goons. You see, I got them on turkeys. Let me tell y'all why I got them on turkeys, family. Let me tell y'all why I got them on turkeys. Let's, let's, let's just get this understanding right now. Because, see, the end of last week and this week, they really tried to play the community and the community supporters like myself and others. They tried to play us stupid. Yeah, they tried to play us stupid. And let me tell y'all what I mean by that, family. First of all, they had an Easter turkey hunt gone wrong. That's why I got them on the turkey, because they had an Easter turkey event. She was giving away turkeys on Easter. Who do that? Who do that? Don't nobody give away no turkeys on no Easter. Nothing but a preschooler. That's all. That's all is given. But anyway, they lock the people out of the village hall or city hall or whatever you want to call it. So you got the Easter turkey gone wrong. Then they lock the people out of the village hall the end of last week. Then they had the turkey event Sunday that went all wrong. Her and Lacey and the rest of her goons. And then over here you have the citizens waiting to get in April the 1st. On that meeting, and they was left outside in 20 degree weather. Mm hmm. Why is that, Tiffany? Mm hmm. Tiffany and her goons and her flunkies have a terrible history of violating rules and laws, I see. In my opinion, the residents should have filed a complaint with the state attorney general's office. And the FBI for being left outside like that. And for being locked outside of City Hall during business hours. Mm-hmm. Y'all will definitely get some straightening then. Quicker straightening. Check out how Tiffany and her flunkies and that old Freeman, that Mark Freeman, whatever his name is, Freeman, the flunky, Freeman flunky, flunky Freeman. Uh-huh. He locked them citizens out of City Hall because the mud while in hand gave them orders to do so. See, this was a way to punish the citizens and the elderly for speaking up for their rights, speaking up for their civil rights, talking to the news, talking to the FBI. So what do they do? They call themselves punishing the citizens, the hen and a goon. By locking City Hall so that they can't have access to paying bills and things that they need to get done. Uh -huh. So, check out this right here. Yeah. And I found this what on that uh, Dothan Trustees uh, Dothan Trustee Facebook 
So they have a Dothan Trustee Facebook page. And check out this I right here. This is what they did. This is a government building. And I can't go in to get the forms I need. But they set up this right here. This makes no sense right here. And look at that big old lock on the door. See how it, look, why should I have to add to Y'all got all the papers back there. Y'all got a complaint for them back there? Oh, give me a complaint for them today. Because I came to... Now, remind you, this is the hen giving orders to the flunkies and the goons to shut down a public government building where the citizens supposed to go and pay bills and get permits and things like that. Nah, nah, nah. She shut it down. That's retaliation. She did it to punish these people. And it was elderly women out there as well trying to get into a city building. We ain't going to say nothing about, uh, we're not going to use that excuse. Oh, they might have had it closed down to do audits. No, they didn't. Because we already talked about that. You could do audits with a building open. And you could post to do audits when after hours. After the business has closed or before the business open. And people know how to do emergency audits with a business running. Mm -hmm. But anyway, check it out. I want y'all to check out how they did these elderly ladies. Look at that big old lock on the door. This is a government building. And I can't go in to get the forms I need. But they didn't set up this right here. This makes no sense right here. And I don't want to feel I don't want to feel none of y'all. See how look, why should I have to add to y'all got all the papers back there? Yeah, why should she have to act? Tiffany, why should she have to ask to get in that building? Why should she have to ask? Somebody need to call the Attorney General uh -huh, of that state and talk to the FBI as well. Why is that building locked? Tiffany, wow. See, this is how they treat their citizens. This is exactly how they treat them every day, all day. The citizens said it. How disappointing and heartbreaking. Give me a complaint for him. Mm, See that man mm, straight mm. off the bat, he, he didn't know what to say. And they better not go ready no, don't go calling no police. Because this is all kind of wrong. It is. Well, you know what, I've been there almost an hour. And Mr. Moore, look. This is a brief meeting. But it's almost an hour now. Almost an hour. It's not empty. It's not empty. It's not empty. Look here, you mud while in here. Why is the public and the citizens denied access to a public government building during business hours? See, Tiffany and her goons are displaying disturbing behavior, corrupt behavior for the world to see. And I know the leaders of Illinois see this. What is going on? Why can't someone send some help to these people? The world see it. And the world is watching how nothing is really being done as quick as it should be being done. Is it the color of their skin? Is the reason why people just overlooking it over there in Illinois, leaders? And I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Because clearly, if this was anybody else, they would have bum rushed in there for Tiffany. That's what I mean, you know. You got a complaint for them back there, and I need a, uh, I mean a citizen's complaint, and I need one of those uh, building, what is it, a permit to get the permit? What application for to get the permit? What kind of permit do you need? Uh, they just how many? Logical, general, to general, 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 general,
Okay, so you hear the lady talking to them. The lady on the inside, but still leaving these elderly ladies on the outside, saying, what y'all need? What all y'all need? I, I can hand it to y'all, like through a crack or through whatever. But still won't let them in. How disturbing and disrespectful. And alarming. Uh-huh. Look at that big old lock. I don't like this. And people are dogging. No, this got to go now. See, they doing the business of somebody else, but they keeping us out of a governmental building. And then he gonna ask me what I need. So they got the fire department in here so they can try that what at the meeting. If it's too many people, they ain't gonna have the meeting on the first. Man, I'm done with all this crap. Wow. I told them I wish they would. Go ahead. Man, this is all kind of wrong. You know why people coming in here like this? I saw that little video. You know why people coming in here? Because y'all doing what they telling y'all to do, and y'all supposed to be working for the people. Yep. Exactly. Exactly our point. You know what? This is what I came in here for. But see what I had to get? I had to get it from back here. Give me give me some more complaint forms. Give me two more. Wow. Wow. I was being nice. Now, I told them I need to go inside the building to get what I need. He came to the door and asked me, this is a government building. Look at that I big old lock. To get the forms I need, but they didn't set up this right here. Make yeah, that's what uh, Tiffany and the goons are doing. They treat these people like this. All day. Every day. And they don't give a damn. Now they don't. You know why? Because she's running that city like a female mobster. Yes, she is. And she is very dangerous with it. Very dangerous with it. Very dangerous with it. Very dangerous. Wow. 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 Dothan administration is screaming corruption. Screaming corruption. Why is it so hard for the hen and her goons and her flunkies to understand they work for Dothan residents? They work for the people. Y'all don't own those people. Y'all don't own that city. That's not y'all personal stuff. Tiffany running that like that's her personal inheritance. No, it's not. Your family didn't pass that city down to you. That's the people's city. It's screaming corruption. Yes, it is. There it go right there. Screaming corruption. Mm-hmm. That's it. Screaming corruption. What is corruption? Mm-hmm. What is it? Dishonesty. Or fraudulent conduct by those in power, typically involving bribery. Mm -hmm. That's all that Easter thing was about. Bribery. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that too in a minute. And then, number two, the process by which something typically, a word or expression, is changed from the original use of meaning to one that is regarded. Uh-huh. So, uh, Tiffany, dishonest, fraudulent. That's all is screaming down there in Dothan. That's all is screaming. Her and her goons. Full of it. You can look at it. That's what it's giving. Why is the hen and her goons acting like mobsters down there and crime boss? Locking the citizens out of a public building because they are not corrupt and won't follow illegal behavior. Oh, now, nah, we can't let y'all in because y'all ain't listening to my way of thinking. Now, we can't let y'all in this city building because I got to punish y'all because y'all won't fall in line. Now, nah, I can't let y'all in that building because y'all won't tolerate my corruption. 
Now, I can't let y'all in. I can't let y'all in because we in here trying to clean up our corruption. Yeah, that's why I can't let you in. That's what is given. That's what is given. And I can't understand how she has been allowed to portray a professional crime boss for over two years. That's what is given. Is all of Chicago like that? Are they letting all of Chicago, letting their mayors do this? I, I mean, we, I'm just asking. I'm just asking because uh, Tiffany been in here a long time. Tearing up these folks' city. Taking from these people. Running it like a crime boss. All that. And she still had the nerve to show up at that meeting with that pile of makeup on, trying to cry victim. When the whole time, the city is the victim and she's the professional crime boss. That's what is given. I'm sorry, your behavior is given all, all of corruption. Yes, it is. Your behavior is given all of corruption. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then, she had the nerve to have this little Easter thing. You know, I mean, but the thing about this cor corruption, that's all it's given. And I'm trying to figure out why is she going so long like this? Because it's given that it's normal. Oh, that's normal behavior. So we're not going to mess with her right now. What? That's what it's given. It's 2024. It's not the norm anymore. People are tired of being used, abused, tax dollars just being spent by someone who wants to be a Nino Brown. She the one dressed up like Nino Brown. Nino Brown was a crime boss. So don't get mad at me for calling her that because she's clearly dressed up like Nino Brown. And went in that trustee meeting like Nino Brown. That's who she looks up to. Crime bosses. And that's how she's running that city. You know? Then, she talking about coming to her Easter egg hunt and all that and giving away turkey like a female Bumpy Johnson. Yes, like a female Bumpy Johnson. That's all it's giving. That's all it's getting. Who give away turkeys like this on Easter? That's a crime boss move. That's a crime boss move. That is a pure D crime boss move. Who gives away? Hold on, family. Who gives away turkey for crime bosses? Mm -hmm. Can y'all tell me? Because I could tell y'all. Who give away turkeys like crime bosses? That's what she did. Gave away turkey on Easter like crime boss. Yeah, because you remember? Bumpy Johnson, that's him. Crime boss, he gave away turkey. Frank Lucas, crime boss, he gave away turkey. Nino Brown, who she want to be like. Crime boss gave away turkeys. And we're not supposed to see through this? That's what I'm saying. We're not supposed to see through this? She played a female Bumpy Johnson, Nino Brown, and Frank Lucas at her little Easter event. Gangsters love giving away turkey. Why is that? Love giving away turkey. Gangsters love to give away turkey to the community like a turkey is a pacifier for the community to shut the community up. Come on now. They messing up the turkey game. Messing up the turkey game. I'm telling you. Messing it up. And now, she out there showing all this food that she saw. Oh, I'm going to get to it, family, because 
Actually, she didn't do nothing but stink up the joint at the Easter event. Her and her goons stunk up the joint. These are the turkeys she was giving away like a crime boss. What? Who give away turkey on Easter? That's that preschooler for you. Now, she's showing off her little Easter stuff that she done bought all over, you know. Uh, she's showing, uh, look, I got the Easter food. I got this. I got that. But She's showing a box of food. I'll show y'all that food, family. We're going to get on that, too, in a minute. She's showing off with the Easter basket, the food that she got in the box, showing eggs and showing milk and all that. But what she failed to show at this Easter event, I, I was looking for one of them boxes to open up, not see no old turkey. That's Thanksgiving giveaway. Anyway, but they're messing up the turkey game. You know, for good people like myself and other people who love to give out stuff to the community, we're going to have to stop giving out turkeys because, see, the gangsters are tearing that up. They're messing up the turkey game. Because every time people see turkey, it's basically a gangster giving it out for a pacifier. So we're going to have to switch up our game, good people. The good people who love to give out stuff, we're going to have to switch up the ham and leg quarters and a bag of chicken wings and a bag of salad or something. We're going to have to switch up our game because the gangsters is messing up the turkey game. Yes. And out of all that stuff she's showing that she gave out, she didn't show not one receipt what we asking for. And the trustees are asking for, and the resident of Dothan are asking for. She ain't showed nan credit card receipt when she popping open all them boxes. Tell me, see what I got, y'all? See what I... No, we don't want to see that. We want to see some receipts. We want to see the credit card receipts. How about the receipts that you had going on in Vegas? We want to see the lavish trip receipts. No, nah, don't come showing us no eggs and no yellow cake and all that. No, we don't want to see that. We want to see some statements. We want to see some receipts, some financial records. That's what we want to see. Mm -hmm. I ain't said no statement about the alleged all-word thing happened down there in Vegas. Nothing. She didn't have anything of receipts at that Easter event in no Easter box. Why you didn't show us an Easter box full of receipts? Why is that? And stop giving out turkeys. I'm so tired of these gangsters giving out turkeys. Family, the turkey is a curse. It's a curse when it's coming from these gangsters. I'm telling you, I better stop receiving these uh, turkeys from these folks. Please do. Please stop receiving them from them because it ain't nothing but the devil's food. The devil's food is all it is. I'm so tired of this backyard hen. I don't know what the dog gonna do. The Easter event. And that was nothing but to deflect. They didn't want to address the lies, the corruption behavior, none of that. Didn't want to produce receipts. Don't, don't want to be held accountable. But want to give out Easter boxes and a turkey. Why is that? Why is that? Instead of facing the Dothan concerns. Instead of facing Dothan mayor concerns of corruption. She played the Bumpy Johnson right here and the Nino Brown and the Frank Lucas. What? Hid behind an Easter event and used the kids to do it. That's all it's giving. Look at this here, family. Then, right here, they done spoil Easter running this family out of the Easter event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ran this family here. Out of the Easter event. This is old Lacey. Female. Goon too. Another goon police officer. They all ran this little boy. 
and his grandmama and his uncle out of the Easter event because Tiffany don't like this little boy's grandmother. And because this little boy grandmother most likely don't like Tiffany Hen. Now, her son, uh, the lady's son said, he looks about 25, 30. I'll show y'all a picture of him too in a minute. But he said that his mother said some things to uh, Tiffany in the past. Uh, they went to court about it. The case got thrown out. And that's a while back. Lady has not been no threat or anything. You know, they just had little words towards each other or whatever like that. But Lacey messed around and saw the little boy and his grandmother. And instantly he puts them out. Then his goons come to help him put them out. This goon come to help them pull it out. All by the orders of the mud walling hen with pink lipstick on. You know what I'm saying? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And uh, this the little boy right here. And they, you know, Lacey goes up to this little boy here. Um, Grandmama, you see he's crying. I'm going to let y'all hear a little bit of that in a minute. But it was totally disrespectful. Totally disrespectful. But let me show y'all this right here. Okay? Because, um... This was Tiffany's little Easter thing, okay? So she had everybody talking about... For one thing, she played the Bumpy Johnson, Frank Lucas... Nino Brown role because remember Nino Brown is an idol. You remember that she dressed up like Nino Brown at the meeting and told the community, "Bees better have my money," because she wanted to continue to go on lavish trips. Uh huh. But anyway, uh, she threw this Easter event, and I'll get back on the little boy in a minute. But let me let me just say this right here. She started showing everybody. What all she got for Easter, okay? As y'all will see, she got the turkey. She opened up these little boxes. And she wanted everybody to see that she got turkey. She giving out turkey. She giving out smoke neck turkey necks. What? For Easter? Why is you giving out turkey and smoked turkey necks and then she called them turkey tails family you got to get yeah, oh it got it can't get no you can't make this up family anyway she gave away eggs this the milk right here uh i hope y'all can see it but that's the milk right here in the corner okay so she bragging that she got a box of food she got turkey for the people she got smoked turkey necks then she got eggs. She got milk, okay? Then you will see she got these here boxes with her name and all that stuff on there. But I'm going to tell you right now, uh, all this was on her little social media, whatever. It was all over. The, it's all over social media, okay? Now, if, the, if she spent about $2,000 on this stuff, she will tell the trustees and the city that she paid $20,000 for it. Because, see, she did this to try to get more money. That's my opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion, okay? She done spent about, if she spent about, say, $2,000 on this stuff, she going she gonna to be saying it's $20,000. If it costed $4,000, she going to say it costed $40,000 because, see, she's trying to get extra money. That's all it's giving. That's all it's giving. And you ain't slick, Tiffany. That's what you're doing. Most likely. That's why she made it her mission to show everybody these boxes of eggs and milk and Easter baskets and all that. Because she's going to hike the price up. And all of it was bargain food. I'm going to get on that too. All of it was bargain food. 
Uh-huh. Breaking all the health department rules. Breaking all. And I'm trying to figure out why she got neck bones and all that stuff. Uh, the turkey necks. And then she got uh, all family. Tiffany, did you look at the different ratio of people that's in your neighborhood? Because see, everything you showed us catered to the black community. But according to this, see, that shows me that you are a mayor that shouldn't even be in a mayor seat because a mayor is supposed to look at things like this, okay? You're supposed to have went and looked and see what group of people are in your town, okay? And you will see here, it has, you know, Caucasian, you got about 5.0%. African American, you got about 91.2%, okay? And then, say, Asians, you got about 0.2%. But the thing is, and I think you got some Mexicans and stuff like that over there, but the thing is, why you didn't look at this? Because everything in those boxes only catered to the 91%, just about. Because you got, you the one that chose to put smoke, neck, bones, or turkey bones. What? Why you didn't have no uh, rice in there for the Asians and stuff like that? Why you didn't have no um, salsa, you know, taco chips? Things like that for different people in your community. See, it was given a little a little prejudice going on. My opinion. I'm just telling you about the ethnic groups. Because you clearly were supposed to look at this before you bought all that stuff. But see, you weren't thinking about nobody else. Just the, that's a typical Tiffany Heenan. That is a typical mud wallin hen where they don't think about nobody but they self. And they only think about the majority of what they see. Uh-huh. Instead of thinking about everybody. As a mayor, that's your job to do. Preschooler. Mm -hmm. See, why didn't you check out all this? I did. And I'm not even their mayor. Mm-hmm. Boy, I tell you. Anyway, family, she done sent out all these old, look what I got. I got Easter baskets. I got this. I got this. Criminals using turkey. Always using turkey. That done got old. That done got old. Straight disrespectful tactics. When criminals do this, they are actually playing in the community face. Playing them stupid. That's what they doing. Trying to throw law enforcement off. Trying to throw the FBI off. Because they know that they being watched. So then they start buying turkeys. And acting like they are good citizens. They are good mayor. Or they are good uh, dealer. Or whatever. Or they good goons. They start distributing stuff out to the community. And they feel like the community, once they get little things like this, somebody get a turkey, oh, they going to forget all the bad things Tiffany has ever done. And they'll study be suffering and struggling and wondering why. Oh, that's because you forgot about how trifling she is. You forgot about it because of that stinking devil turkey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyway... It's sad. Tiffany's pulled a straight up corruption gangster move trying to distribute stuff out there. And then half of this stuff wasn't even refrigerated. Eggs and all that stuff. They ain't got the boxes with her name on it. Why is that? Why your name got to be on everything? Her name on everything. Spending all them people tax dollars. To put her picture on everything. Her name on everything. Boxes her name on it. Flyers her name on it. Posters her names on it. Pens her name on it. Paper her name on it. Roadblocks her names on it. Everything. Why? 
spending all that money for a mud while in the hen. Eggs. Why is them eggs not refrigerated? Why is them eggs not refrigerated? There you go. There you go. That'll make people sick. And the kids too. That is against health department rules. And she better be glad it was Sunday when she did it. We would have called the health department. Yes, we would. Health department violation. Yes, it is. Sitting out there all day for about four, five hours. Because they probably were sitting out there about two hours before the whole event started. And then the event went on for about three hours, which she said 12 to 3, right? Then people are out there with it. And then it probably takes people about an hour to get home, 30 minutes to get home. That stuff ain't no good. It's good. But, hey, you can't go by the expiration date. Not for real. I'm trying to figure out why didn't she go to the health department and get a food handling card. See, if you had got a food handling card, that's what people do who deal with food restaurants fast food restaurants, most of them have to go to a uh, food handling class to know how to handle food the proper way. This is definitely not the proper way to have eggs sitting on a pallet. Look at that. Girl, you know you don't need to be in that seat. Not only is you a goon, you a dumb goon. Not only you want to be a crime boss, you a dumb crime boss. You going to make them people sick. People be running to the bathroom all day long. Stuff coming out of both ends of them. Or wind up in the emergency room one. Because this is totally out of line. Totally out of line. Turkeys out there. Eggs out there. And this the milk right here. All this stuff sitting out there about four, five hours. They will give it six hours. Because probably was sitting out there about two hours before the whole event started. What? Why is that? Then look at the food she giving out. She giving away spice. She talking about, look, y'all, I got sage. And it's supposed to be a uh, pie crust. Really? Really? This wasn't nothing but a crime boss move. That's all it was. Who give out turkey on Easter anyway? A preschooler who want to be a gangster. That's who. Yes. Giving out food that puts the resident's blood pressure on max. Smoke turkey necks. Smoke turkey necks now. Then she gave away chitlins one time. Allegedly, that's what they were saying. She gave away chitlins one time, giving away everything that'll put the residents' blood pressure on max. You know? And the mayor should have already known that dairy products can't sit in the middle of a park without being refrigerated. And she thought she was doing something, too. She thought that was a smart idea. And it just showed. That she wore a hell men in preschool. That's all it showed. And when food is sitting out like that, you can't even depend on the expiration date. Because it's been handled improperly. It wasn't handled correctly. That furthermore shows us that her goons are yes men and yes women. Because they didn't even tell her or have the heart to tell her about public safety public concerns with handling food. And maybe they don't even know. Because remember, you are what you hire. So you know she on a preschool level. So what they say about some of the people that she hired? Because y'all know she clearly hired a tricycle chaser to go into people homes and resident homes who got kids and stuff and she don't even see nothing wrong with that. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. She really don't. So this is what she's showing that she did for the people. And I didn't see nothing. She said, look at that butter. Look at that butter out there. 
All this stuff should have been refrigerated. Look at that. Then she's showing, I guess this is some cornmeal, cornmeal, sugar, whatever. Then you see the seasonings over here. She really thought she was doing something. And then I saw what she was talking about. Yeah, we barbecuing or they doing something. All I saw was like um, two boxes of hot dog buns and about four packs of a 24 pack of water. That's all I seen. Talking about some, she act like they were finna barbecue it down. They ain't had nothing but some hot dog buns. I ain't even see the hot dogs. And then, I didn't see none of the people who was there actually eating. So who was that food for? Her family and friends, allegedly, most likely. Uh-huh. It wasn't for them people. It was going to be for her family and her friends. I did not see not one person put a hot dog up to their mouth and eat it. Everybody was just sitting down there waiting on roll call. That's what it looked like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, the thing about it, look at this food she giving out, family. Then she gave them yellow cake mix. That's just the name of it from a save a lot. Bargain food. She gave away all bargain food. It ain't nothing wrong with bargain food at all. Because some people can't afford to buy, you know, name brand food and things like that. That's why they have bargain food. But my thing is, family, she ain't eating bargain food. No, no, no. Let's uh, let's go back. Remember, Tiffany, why is you feeding your citizens bargain food? And then you take their money and you eat lavish food. That's where I got the problem at. Why are you using the taxpayers' dollars to feed them some 50 cent ass hot dogs and water? But then when you and your goons go on y'all little rendezvous and trip, y'all eat top of the line on max. Y'all eating $2,000 plates. Y'all staying in $5,000 hotels for all of y'all. But you want to give the citizens just a box of cake that say yellow cake mix. No, say it ain't like I said, ain't nothing wrong with it because that's what people do who have to bargain shop. But see, you don't bargain shop with their money when it comes to your ass. No, you don't bargain shop with their money when it comes to you and your goons. You go all out for them. So why didn't this cake mix say Duncan Hines? Uh-huh. Why didn't that turkey say top of the line? Hmm. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. You going to feed the residents budget food with their money and then use their money to eat real lavish foods when it come to you and your goons. You and your goons ain't going to Paris. Y'all ain't going to Vegas. Y'all ain't going all the way. They say, oh, y'all went to Alaska. Y'all done went everywhere. Y'all ain't eating no yellow mixed cake like that. Why is that? Why y'all ain't eating no cake like that? That ain't even in your house, but you want somebody else to put it in their house. You buying it. That's their money. Why, why you couldn't buy top of the line for your residence? Can't stand a backyard barbie. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then put they stuff on pallets. You put they stuff on pallets. Yeah. You put they stuff on pallets. Why is that? Why is that? You put they stuff on pallets. You had they eggs sitting outside for a minute. Why your eggs ain't sitting outside? You and your goons, when y'all went to Vegas and all that, y'all didn't eat no eggs that sat outside. Open up the garage doors, please. And get some more bumper cars out. 
Get some more bumper cars out. I can't even believe this mud while in here. Then had the nerve to get him some sweet potatoes to put in that old pie crust that's been sitting out there five hours. What? What? Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Are you really serious right now? She sat right up there and gave them some sweet potatoes out the bag like that. And then tell me, if you need it, come on down here and get it. Why you didn't have no egg rolls in that box? Because, see, we done looked at your ethnic group uh, that you have over there, and it says some Asians. Why you ain't have egg rolls, rice, and things like that? Because you a backyard mud while in here. That's why. Mm-hmm. That's exactly why. And then, when it came to, that's the pie crust that those sweet potatoes are supposed to go in, family. Oh, she proud. She, look at the smoke turkey mix. Who do that on Easter? Who? Then she had the nerve, family, to be saying, I got some smoky, smoky, smoky turkey tails. Them ain't no turkey tails. That thing clearly say smoked. Smoked turkey next, girl. This girl can't read for nothing. I got some. What the thing say? It say smoked turkey next. She's sitting up there. Yeah, yeah, because she, she on her little thing. Trying, yeah, I got some smoky, smoky, smoky uh, turkey tails. I got some turkey tails. Them ain't no turkey tails. They turkey necks. Yeah, yeah, I got some smoky, smoky, smoky turk tails. I got some smoky, smoky. Uh, just as country as all I get out. Just a country bunking. I, I, I got some, I got some smoky, smoky, smoky turk tails. I got some smoky, smoky, smoky turkey neck tails. I got some tails. What? You got some what? <laughs> Them ain't no turkey tails. They turkey necks. But that goes to show you the preschool came out of her. Because, see, she's so used to the last thing she brought, remember, is, you know, Cinderella, the fairy tale. The three pigs, fairy tale. You know, she remember all the fairy tales, stories. So when she saw something like this, she just automatically say, smoke turkey tails. Because she's so used to reading tales in the fairy tale book. That's the last thing they read in preschool. So she automatically said, I got some turkey, 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 smoke tails. I got some turkey, 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 smoke tails. What? That what is you know what? Mm, mm, mm. That is just too sad. Then she ruined the community and gave them all that bargain food while her and her goons is eating top dollar food off the taxpayers' dollars. All that. Everything in that box was insulting for real. Not because of the brand of the food. It's because the person who bought the food, the mud while in hand, she gave them cheap while she eat expensive off their money. And both of them that she bought was with their money. So why they are not as superior as you? Hmm. It's their money, right? It's not your money. It's their money. Wow. And I'm telling y'all, trustees, wait on it. 
Wait for it. Wait for it. She going to say that bill, if she spent about 4000 on that food, she going to say it was 40000 trying to get more dollars. Yes, she is. She She's so corrupt. Yes. And then I wouldn't have got, I won't, uh-uh. You couldn't have gave me nothing she's serving. Nothing. People, y'all better stop dealing with the devil's food. Stop dealing with it. And she love to play victim. And she is the main gangster who wants to play mob boss. She clearly did it herself. She the one that came in there like Nino Brown. Okay. Y'all don't eat everything. Everything ain't good food. Just like they say, all money ain't good money. All food ain't good food. If people didn't have a turkey, hey, go to the store and get a bologna sandwich. It ain't nothing wrong with eating cheap before you taste the devil's food in. Wow. Wow. It's gangster food. It can't be trusted. Then she had old Crunchy Munch Stan standing now. I had to show y'all him too. But see, she really thought she was getting down. Her name on everything. Then gave them people some greens. Are you serious right now? Jeffrey Cornbread. Then she had her Crunchy Munch friend Stan. A Crunchy Munch that's always dressed in a two-piece suit. Yes, yes. Had him there. He was at that event chewing on, snacking on his two front teeth or whatever. It didn't look like he had many. He might do, but he was there. It looked like he was chewing in the front of his mouth. I don't know, but this mud while in him kept on. I got smoky turkey tails. And that pack clearly say smoke turkey nick. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. So, she didn't give out no fruit baskets. She should have gave out that to help with the elderly and help with, you know, getting some protein and vitamins and stuff like that in the blood. You know, I didn't see a fruit basket in sight. No, I didn't. I did not see a fruit basket in sight, Tiffany. Why is that? Why is that? Yes. And then you had her goons harassing this little boy and his grandmother. Let's go to that right quick. Yes, 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 because I didn't like that at all. Why is that, Tiffany? Why did Joe goons harass baby boy and his grandmother and his uncle who was there? And this is his uncle family. This is the man who was with him uh, right here. I saw him talking on the interview. But that's him who Lacey and the other goons was going by Tiffany orders, you know, um, and put him, his mom, and his little nephew out of the Easter event because Tiffany don't like the lady and you know the lady kind of um too much don't dig Tiffany but you know they had the event and her, her little grandson that we just saw wanted to go to this event so she went to the event and Lacey and his goons came and put them out of this event with the little boy there, ruined the whole Easter event for this little boy and was embarrassing them in the middle of that park in front of everybody. If that wasn't heartbreaking to see, the world saw it. It don't matter what Tiffany and that grandmother don't like each other. That has nothing to do with that little boy. They wouldn't let that boy get an Easter basket. They wouldn't let that little boy play with the rest of the kids who was there. And most likely he had some little friends that was there. And him and his family got thrown out.
unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, family, I'm going to let y'all hear that. They, I, I can't let y'all. Shout out to um, the Real Late Night crew. He had um, the video up on his YouTube channel. That's the name of it. It's the Real Late Night crew. So, if you want to see that video, go over there and check it out on um, his YouTube channel. But that's the name of it. You will see his thumbnail have Lacey on there. And then he got a Mr. Potato Head right on the side that's dressed like a cop or something like that. But check it out. Uh, the video is very hurtful to see. Uh, but I did want to at least give him that, that shout out because I did use some of the audio. Um, so, but but the thing is... He also, I, I seen him because he popped up on my YouTube feed and I checked it out. And that's when I heard him also say that the hen got him demonetized. So if y'all do stop over there and check out this video, I'm going to play a little of the audio. But if you want to see the video, go over to his channel and look at the video. Uh, but if you go over there... You know, try to drop him two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, or whatever you can. He said it would be around about July before he can get his monetization back. Uh, but that is what the hen does. You know, she tried us like that. You know, um, but baby, you in for a big one with me. I'm gonna tell you, you in for a big. Yeah, yeah, y'all already seen how that went. Y'all already seen how that went. I call it FBI and my and my uh stilettos is still step down, stomp down in it. You know, so YouTube is very aware, you know. But the thing is, uh check out this right here video. I mean uh the, the audio of it because I was so 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 shocked. <sighs> I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked. Just to, just to hear. So y'all know this is her right here. Talking about, I see y'all doing a lot of snitching. Good shut up. We don't want to hear nothing with y'all. You got to say. Yeah, we did. Since that's what you want to say. Okay. Now this is the confrontation between Tiffany Gooms. And y'all hear her saying, Officer Lacey is up here abusing his powers, okay, along with the other goons, because Tiffany don't like his grandmother. She made the goons, made him, his grandmother, and his uncle leave that event. And they said they had been there just about all day. And didn't nobody even know they was there. Lacey, the dog, the lap dog, happened to see the grandmother and then told her to get out. She said, I've been here all day. Why do I have to leave? I didn't I didn't I haven't said anything. I'm just here letting my grandson enjoy himself. Uh-uh. He told her to leave. So check it out again. Well, mm-hmm. Check it out. This is how they treated this family. Wow. All right. All right. Now, y'all, now, I ain't got no way y'all paperwork. I didn't have my court case and everything. Where's the paperwork? I don't want to hear that now. Y'all keep violating my rights like y'all got a right. Hey, look what they doing. My grandson, he keeps coming here all day. You have even seen me here all day. He is a good and his power. Lacey, Officer Lacey, is at this Easter event of yours and his power. No, I don't have no paperwork. I don't have no case going on with the mayor. No, I'm not walking.
walking nowhere. He's trying to put me out of public affairs. He's trying to put me out of public affairs. He's abusing his powers. He's abusing my friends. So you see how her goons act? Abusing the power? Yeah, abusing the power. This was all going on in front of this little boy. You see how he looking? That's how he was looking at the officers. He was very scared. He was very scared. This family didn't do nothing. Like she said, they was there all day. Nobody even knew they were there until Lacey spotted her and then walked over to her and told her, the grandson right there, and her son that I showed y'all a picture of a few minutes ago to get out. And he literally forced them out of that park. So if anybody know this uh, young man's uh, parents, I think uh, 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 his grandmother uh, have heard an email, Cafe of Knowledge, so I can uh, send some type of gift uh, to this young man where he can make his own damn Easter basket. He didn't need the devil's uh, basket anyway. He really didn't. He didn't need nothing coming out of that park. It was gangster food anyway. Yeah, it was. And um this this young man here uh I know that her son said they be on Dothan Trustees page. I think it's a Facebook page, so my team will probably try to go on there and try to see if they can contact this family to where um I can get him something where he can make his own Easter basket and it'll be much better than what Tiffany ever had out there uh, in that park. But this is how he was looking, very scared. Then you see Lacey with his hands on his cuff. He is actually ready to handcuff this family for doing nothing. He just spotted them. It wasn't any kind of confrontation. Uh, she didn't say anything. She didn't even know he was walking up to her. They was just standing there. She said it was getting ready to buy something to eat. And he just walked up and said, hey, I remember you. You had a problem with the mayor. Get out. What? And like she, her son said, that was thrown out. But he didn't care because he doing a goon call. Mm -hmm. He didn't care nothing about that lady. He didn't care nothing about the little boy. He didn't care nothing about the lady's son. He didn't give a damn about that family. Only thing he cared about was doing a goon call for his mud walling hen. And as you see, family, you can see the people. You see how this lady looking? You can see the people. They looking, and you can see how... It was a big commotion. She looking, she look, everybody is looking, but don't nobody really want to speak up and say anything. And it's understandable because Tiffany and her goons are dangerous. They are. They say they stops them during the day. They pull them over. They do some terrible things. You heard one lady I was telling y'all about at the beginning of this video said her 19 year old daughter was deleted by them i mean it just goes on and on and everybody know he has a terrible past i read y'all his past unbelievable unbelievable he radioing for help why is he radioing for help he was trying to escalate the problem instead of de-escalating it he was trying to escalate the problem until he made the little boy cry. And I'm going to let y'all uh, hear that. Oh, he calling for backup. He wants to put them up. Because the, her son was saying, man, my mama been here all day. Oh, Lacey bucking up on this dude. Bucking up on the son and all that. He just showed his butt out there with his family. See, he putting his hand on all his stuff. Y'all see it, family? It's in him. To do something harmful to someone. And remind y'all. They said nothing. 
So imagine if he just have a little slight confrontation with a citizen. How left it will go. Because this went left with the family not even saying a damn thing to Lacey or to anybody. They was getting ready to order food. He didn't even know they was there until he happened to just look around and saw the lady. So if it went this left with a citizen who didn't do anything, an elderly lady who didn't do anything, can you imagine if he just gets into a little confrontation with someone? It's over with. That's why people were sitting down there and wasn't moving like that. It don't take but a little bit to make him tick and snap. Really? Really? And that's when the little boy starts crying. But check it out, family. Listen to the rest of it. I ain't gonna stop it. I don't have no paperwork. I don't have no case going on with the mayor. No, I'm not walking nowhere. He's trying to put me out of public affairs. He's trying to put me out of public affairs. He's abusing his powers. He's abusing my grandson. I've been here all day. You have even seen me here all day. He is abusing his powers. Officer Lacey is at this Easter event abusing his powers. No, I don't have no paperwork. I don't have no case going on with the mayor. No, I'm not walking nowhere. He's trying to put me out of public affairs. He's trying to put me out of public affairs. He's abusing his powers. He's abusing his powers. He can't arrest me. He's trying to... All y'all, all everybody is seeing this. He's trying to rest me. I've been here all day. You just run past me. Ain't that you ain't what you're lying. There's no threat. It's in public. In the community that I live in. Please. Three, four. She's been up here all day. And just one through four first. Because he's lying. All day. One through four. And you signing off on it? Oh, y'all gonna y'all ain't gonna put y'all not gonna intimidate me in my neighborhood. Hold on. In a minute you ain't acting. No, you not, you not. No, that's what he wants. I can say what I want. Because what I'm saying is touch my son. Don't touch my son. He know what I'm saying. He don't have no warrant for his arrest. He don't have no paperwork or nothing. You ain't no real man. Yeah, I hear a little boy screaming. No, 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 he crying now. He seen me here all day. I mean, you want me to show you all my video? Officer Harris, y'all gonna violate me again? Officer Harris, because he got here all day. Shut the fuck up. I can't listen to no more of that, family. It was terrible. If that lady... Her son hears this video, or whoever hears this video and know them, tell them to please email Cafe of Knowledge so I can get him the most beautiful gift that we can get. Because after all, he was thrown out of that event. But Tiffany said it was for the people, remember? I told y'all it was a gangster move. That's how gangsters operate their events. Come on, people. That's how gangsters operate their events. They will say it's for the community. They will say it's for the people. They're only doing that because they know they got eyes on them, authority eyes on them. So they do stuff like that. To try to show them the FBI, the Attorney General's office. They doing stuff like that to show them. See, I'm a good person. But it's an undercover move. But of course they see through it too. Just like we do. Because if it was for everybody, this little boy and his grandmother and his uncle would not have been thrown out of there for doing nothing. Why? Why? It wasn't a public event. It wasn't for the kids. That's why I said before, she used this Easter turkey event for a show. And she used the kids to do it. Ha! 
motherfucker trifle. Excuse me, family. Because I never use those type of words. Not on the air. But you talking about pissed right now? Everybody in that park was scared to say something. Look at the tactical gear they came up with. Surrounding this family. That's the female goon. Look how they walk, walked up on them like that. Tactical gear. Why? 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 Are you serious? That family need to take legal action against that right there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And everybody in that park was too scared to say anything or help. They was looking, but they was terrified. And that's the way uh, the hen and her goons have most of the people in that community terrified. But you heard at the beginning, they some of them or most of them are standing together now. They putting a stop to this crime boss behavior. And Lacey, you had on some tight-ass chicks, too. Let's get on that. You had on some tight-ass chicks. What was you doing with them tight chicks on? It was giving. I didn't know what you was. She, he, he had on some tight off-brand jeans family with police shoes on. What? I didn't know what he was. I didn't know if he was a police officer or a Chippendale dancer. I didn't know which one it was. No, no, no. With them tight jeans on. It's giving Chippendale dancer for the hen. That's what it's giving. It's giving that he Chippendale for the mud while in hen at night. And then he a goon by day to the neighborhood. That's what it's giving. I'm just asking. Is you a Chippendale dancer? Because I'm telling you, and it looked like he had on some spanks. Because look here, family. When he was at that uh, April 1st meeting, he was real chunky and bunky. Okay? Real chunky and bunky back there. And I said, ah, he much bigger at this meeting than he was at the Easter thing. Now, we ain't talking about a month later where you can lose a little weight or something, okay? Because at this Easter event, he clearly looked like he was a little bit slimmer. But when you got to the April 1st, that wasn't but one day apart. Sunday was Easter. Monday was the uh, event, okay? So I'm sorry. I am sorry. He looked it like he had on Spanx because when I saw him at the uh, meeting, trustee meeting, where he was standing up telling people, hey, y'all clap again. I'm going to have to end this meeting. Y'all clap again. You can't tell nobody they can't clap. That's against the law. People can clap. If they want to, they ain't saying nothing foul, not doing nothing vulgar, none of that stuff. You're going to tell people they can't clap because you're going to end the meeting. Y'all want to end the meeting anyway. Yes, yes, yes. But, Tiffany, you're going to have to be held accountable. You're going to have to bring up those receipts and things like that because we're not going to forget about it, sister, Why y'all trying to find reasons to stall. But, anyway, back to the police slash Chippendale. I said, wait a minute, because Sunday... He looked at a little bit slimmer. And he had on some tight off-brand jeans on. Looked like tight chicks. And then, at the meeting, he had on the white shirt and the pants. And he looked at real big. Was you wearing Spanx on Easter? That's what it was giving. That's what it was giving. You were running around there with Spanx on, allegedly. That's what it was giving. That's what it was giving. Was you wearing Spanx? Because... You look like a Chippendale dancer with them tight chicks on. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. You call it what you want to call it. Them was some tight spanks there, family. Yes, they was. I said, what is this? What is going on? Is he went in spanks? Yes. Uh-huh. So, Lacey, did you have on spanks? Sunday at the Easter event when you were putting that family out of that park. You should have been trying to... Not even focused on that family. You should have been going somewhere finding you some jeans. You shouldn't have had on no jeans no way at that event. 
Uh-huh. Had on them Sunday Easter tight chicks on. Mm-hmm. Put a whole family out that Easter mud wilding hunt event. Mm-hmm. It was show giving tight chicks. It was show giving tight chicks. But, you know, I thought this event was supposed to be for the kids. But they threw a kid and his family out of the public event that Tiffany said everybody was welcome. So which one is it, Tiffany? It was a crime boss move. That's what it was. And this little boy will always have kind of a distrust for the police after this event happening to their family, to his family. He would always have a little distrust within the police after this because of these corrupt officers that are working for a corrupt mayor. Come on now. Come on now. It was a crime boss move. People who talk to the media, people who talk to the FBI, or if they simply speak up for their rights, they get treated like this. Now we see with evidence, how Tiffany and her goons really treat people and their kids. How they bully their citizens if they citizens don't play with the corrupt ball. Mm-hmm. This was disturbing at the highest level. How do the state of Illinois allow this behavior to continue? Citizens of Dalton, once again, y'all keep it up. Trustees, y'all keep it up. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Y'all have a lot of support behind y'all. Believe that. Believe that. Believe that. But I can tell you right now, I don't see how the state of Illinois, they leaders... Dothan leaders, Thornton Town Hall ship leaders don't realize how much of a negative press they are right now. They in a negative spotlight right now to the world. The world is paying attention, close attention to this despicable and disturbing behavior by Tiffany Henio. These citizens of Dothan need a change. They need to be respected. Better leadership. This is totally disturbing. Totally disturbing. It really is. It really is. Are you serious right now? Wow. This crushed people hard to hear what we just heard. And to see it is even more heartbreaking. These officers treated this family like we was in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s trying to fight our way out of equality. You know? Come on now. Come on now. The way they put this family out reminds you back in the day, man. Are you serious right now? They bum-rushed this family. Out of a public event for a mud wilding hen. And they think this is okay behavior. Yeah. It reminds me of our ancestors fighting for their rights. Why are we looking at something like this in 2024? If you don't obey the hen, no Easter event. If you speak up for your rights, no turkey. If you don't kiss the hen's butt, no Jeffrey cornbread. If you don't agree with the hen, no smoked turkey tails is what she call it, even though it's smoked turkey necks. 
But if you don't pay by hard rules, you ain't getting my smoked turkey tails. If the hen don't like you, no Easter basket for your child. If you refuse to deal with corruption, no Easter food box. If you refuse to be bullied, and if you refuse to be harassed, you will have a hard time in dope. That's sad. Do y'all see what I'm saying now about her running that town like a crime boss? That's exactly how crime bosses and their goons operate their events. They do. Go back and check out crime boss movies. That's exactly how they do. They give to the people, but strip away the people's rights. They give to the people, and then they tank the people. They give to the people, and then they suppress the people. This mud wilding Grinch hen that stole Easter and the city's money. That's what is given the Grinch that stole Easter and the Grinch that stole city funds. That's what is given. Yes, uh huh. This situation was totally traumatic. It was traumatizing, unbelievable, and trifling. The community is supposed to be able to trust the police. These dope and goons broke a lot of laws within five minutes dealing with this family. They couldn't even do simple police work because their orders are coming from a mud wilding hen who treat her citizens and their children like they are bottom of the barrel citizens. Straight up mob gangster movie. That's all it was. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, um, shout out to the trustees again. Shout out to the residents again. Shout out to all the visitors who went to stand behind the Dothan residents. You know, we will continue to stand behind um, the people in Dothan as well. And we will wait to see what happens at their next meeting. They're supposed to have April the 8th. Okay. Uh, until then, keep saying hashtag save Dothan because they need it. Did y'all hear how things went on? These, she's running it like a crime boss. That's her lap dog, Lacey. That's her crunchy munch, Stan. Freeman. And of course, her Holmes. Wow. And she wants to be all three of them. Especially him. Nino Brown. Wow. Keep hanging in there, people of Dothan. Stick together. Hold each other up. Don't stop. Keep pushing. Because y'all do not deserve to be going through this right here. And living up under crime boss behavior. Gain knowledge to prevent blockage. And we all know what that means. The more you know, the harder it is for anyone to block you out from your goals and success. Bye-bye.